hey guys welcome back so yeah so um while a lot of scholarship have you know closed for next year intake the erasmus scholarship is very much open for the next year intake you know if you would be closing by december most will be closing by the first quarter of next year while um another few would be closing let's say mid next year by may or thereabouts yeah but however that is not the focus of this video this video is to bring to you some things you need to know some things you need to work on before you apply for your erasmus so this video is to help you prepare for your application is to help you make that outstanding application that you know would help you at least get one of the scholarships which is really important so just keep watching so the first thing is before you apply for this erasmus scholarship let it be that by september 2021 you have your bsc if you do not have your bsc by september 2021 even though you get the scholarship you would lose it there's a there's a chance that you would lose it so first things first make sure you're in your final year at least in your final year that by august september next year you must have bagged your bsc because uh, it's of no use when um you know you get the scholarship and by september next year you you're not able to have completed your first degree now for those people from nigeria you know undergraduates and all that if you're in a private university oh thank god you know that yeah by that time next year you should have your bsc if you're in your final year in a private university but if you are in your final year and you're in a public university i actually do not know what to say because you know asu can be a typical example of your village people yeah asu can come for you and you know it would really be bad that you get a scholarship but you're unable to you know um have your degree by september 2021 this would equal to you losing the scholarship and i'm sure nobody wants that so make sure before you apply make sure that by september 2021 let it be certain that by september 2021 you have your bsc another thing is you need to get your transcript ha your transcript is super important your transcript is super important for every single application you're going to be throwing in so it's important you get your transcript if you're done with your school already you need to request for your transcript now for those people um that are still maybe in their final year please get your transcript for your first year to your current year that you are in you need to get your transcript like for nigerians you need to get your transcript for your 100 level 200 level 300 level completes maybe if if you're doing a four years program you need to get your transcript for the three years already completed they are super important and they are going to super help you if you if you if you must get a scholarship it's really important you need to submit it it's really important so get it put it by your side very important another thing is please before you throw in your applications it is important you have professors or um, bosses you can call up and you're like, please, sir, I need a reference letter and they would give it to you immediately, sharply, sharply, like no time wasting. See, your references are really important. You need them. Sometimes these things, when you're making these applications, deadlines are come. You need people that you need that you can call up and you're like, sir, please, I need your help. I need um, a reference letter from you and they will deliver sharply. These are things you need not take chances. So make sure you have people you can call up. You can call on them and you are like, I need a reference letter and they will give it to you. Please, let it not be that uh, it is reference letter that your village people will want to use and make you not get their Russell scholarship. So what I'm saying is make sure you have um, people you can always call on. It could be your undergraduate lecturers. It could be your current lecturers. It could be your um, your bosses from the office and, you know, they will give it to you. So depending on the program you're applying to, some programs, they would require two academics. Some programs will require professional and academic um, references. It just depends. So all I'm saying is you need to have people that you can call up and you're like, I need a reference later and they will give it to you like without wasting time. The next is make sure you are building your profile. It is really important. It's really important for the Erasmus. The way the Erasmus program works, it has um it holds both your academic and um, relevant experience on the same level. You know, it's not just about maybe your academic performance. It's also about your relevant experiences. Like really important. It merges them together. So it's really important. So now, um, before you apply for Erasmus scholarship, make sure you are building on your experiences. Make sure you're building on your skills. Really 
important. Make sure you are building your profile. You could engage in relevant research. You could, um, you know, decide to carry out a research with your professor in school. You, you can decide to, you know, write an article for a blog. You could um, begin to volunteer for an organization. You can improve on your leadership skills by vying for positions in your student associations, maybe class rep, you know, president of your student association and, you know, some other offices. Seriously, you can um, begin internship with an organization. It's really important. You can, um, you can volunteer with an organization. You can take up a job. It's really important and it will help you build your profile. Also, you need to begin to build your skills like communication skills, organization skills, planning skills. This would also help you in your application process. It would also help to, you know, build your profile. Really important. Another thing is you need to join societies like Yali Network, um, Amnesty International. You need to join societies. You need to collaborate to execute um, some projects, events, organize events for people um, in the areas that interest you. It would help you build your organizational skills and other relevant skills. Also, it is important you um, project yourself out there, put yourself out there to win scholarships. Maybe um, you, you for your final year, you, you are being funded by your university, win prizes, best student of the year, outstanding student of the year. Very important. It would really help and boost your profile. This is really important. I think you should put yourself out there, project yourself out there, win those awards, get those scholarships from around you, get those um, awards. It will really help you build your profiles and also help, you know, give you a, a better chance of winning the scholarship. Really important. When you've successfully engaged in these things, it is now important for you to go online and search for relevant Erasmus programs that are in the field you want to go into or fields that interest you. Now, what you need to do is go on to um, Google and then search for the Erasmus Mundus um, Scholarship on the EU's website. Preferably, search for the Erasmus Mundus Scholarship catalog and it will be out there. When you get there to the catalog, you can use the filter for um, student intake the year, which is for next year, for example, for next year, 2021 student intake, you can use that filter and you can also use the filter for um, the field of study. Maybe you're in humanities or social sciences or economics or stuff like that. You can use it to filter it and then you will see programs in your, in your field and then you go through it one after the other to select at most three, do not select anything more than three, at most three that you're going to be applying to. So selecting these three programs would help you know um, how to volunteer and um, in which aspect to build your skills, in which um, field to, you know, build on your experiences, in which organizations you can build your experiences, on what positions would you vie for um, in your student associations. Like, you know, it would help you direct um, your path it would help you um, know where to, you know, capitalize on why building your skills, the organizations you need to, you know, target to get jobs there and, uh, you know, intern with them and stuff like that. So it's, it's going to help you by the time you've selected the three programs, you know, you are going to consciously work towards them by volunteering and, you know, other activities. So I think this is really important. Some people just go in and they start the applications. I think if you, if you adhere to this, if you, first of all, you already have your degree or you know, you are sure that by 2021, September 2021, you would be having your BSc degree. And also you begin to build your skills, like intentionally build your skills and then choose these three programs. It would help you, you know, order your steps in your applications. It would, it would help you um, consciously make applications and efforts towards um, getting, towards clinging on at least one of these scholarships. You can apply for three and you can get the three. But what I'm just saying is at least three. If you follow this step, you know that you have your degree. By 2021 September, you're going to have your degree. You know that you are consciously building your skills, particularly based on programs you've chosen, programs you're interested in. There's a high chance that you're going to be getting the scholarship. Really high chance. So these are the things I think you should know before you um, get into applying for the Erasmus scholarship. You don't just get into applying for it because you just want to apply. You need to make conscious efforts. And these conscious efforts are definitely 
going to pay off so thank you for joining me today so if you watch to the end of this video i think it's important you check out the next video which is about applying for the erasmus scholarship i think it's going to help you, you know the different processes and what you need to do you should watch out for that video i think in fact i think you should watch it right now i think it should be here or here just know that i'm going to be attaching the link and go ahead to watch it it would really be helpful to you thank you for joining me i'll see you in the next video bye